Hi, this is Sung and I'm the Principal and Director of Sky Academy and um, up until now we've been doing basically a review of junior mathematics and the topic that we've been reviewing is trigonometry. But this is all being relevant because the junior mathematics course uh, is uh, a prerequisite for um, the, the HSC course. So you'll need to know all this trigonometry stuff anyway. So let me just give you a brief summary of what we have done till date. Okay, We've worked out what trig ratios are all right? and um, the three main trig ratios that we looked at are sine, cos and tan. Okay, And uh, we've worked out that when you work out the sine, cos and tan of an angle, it gives you a ratio. So basically sine, cos and tan are applied to angles to give you a ratio and then the opposite of that is working out this inverse sine, inverse cos and inverse tan of a ratio to give you an angle. Okay, And basically sine, cos and tan but give you this. Uh, sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, the cos is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse and the tan is equal to the opposite over adjacent. Sokatoa is the way to remember it. And that is basically in a right angle triangle where you've got your, um, your trig ratio angle, which is theta, your 90 degrees, uh, which is your right angle, and your opposite adjacent hypotenuse as figured out here in this triangle. Okay? Um, so you need to be aware of all of that. Okay? The other thing that we went through was Pythagoras' theorem, which was basically that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides. So you need to be aware of that, which is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. All right? And then we moved over here and basically looked at um, how to work out um, minute angles, or, or angles uh, that have really exact or precise measurements and um, and we worked out what a degree was, we worked out what a minute was, was, there's 60 minutes in a degree, we worked out what a second was and there's 60 seconds in a minute etc and then we basically looked at exact ratios or exact values for the triangles which have degrees of 30, 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 and we worked out that the sine, cos and tan can be worked out exactly for those specific angles. We looked at bearing and bearing type questions. We looked at elevation and depression and, uh, and questions relating to elevation and depression. We looked at the sine rule, alright, uh, which is basically used, let me just write this down, where you have two sides, two angles, one of which is unknown, right? And then we also looked at the cosine rule where we have three sides, one angle, one of which is unknown. Yep. Um, which is uh, a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc equals to cos a. You use that one where you've got an unknown side and you use the other one, cos a is equal to b squared plus c squared minus a squared all over 2bc. You use this one where you've got an unknown angle and sine rule is basically the ratio, the, the ratio of the side with the sine of the opposite angle is equal in all three triangles, uh, in all, uh, for all three angles. Uh, and then we've also worked out that the area of a triangle is also equal to half AB sine C, which basically says that you've got um, two sides and the included angle, you can work out the area. Okay? So that is a summary, basically, of the junior mathematics course that we've done today. I'll stand aside, well I might even stand in the middle, so that you can actually have a look on either side at all the information that we've gone through in the last, um, you know, throughout the episodes in this series. So, take that all in, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in further trigonometry.